a little backstory. The Fort Apache Caves was a mine that they had started digging up back in 2018. It has now been recently abandoned and uh, we're going to go explore it. Apparently a lot of people go there to party and smoke and a bunch of other stuff. A bunch of hikers also go there to explore. But I just mapped out the place, checked the weather. It's going to be like 59 degrees is the high t today. Um, but I got the route all planned up. I just got to figure out whether or not Jared's Honda Civic can go off road. I got to, if we, if we can get it to the road, I got to, you know, get out of the car, keep, keep an eye out, make sure there's no bumps or he's losing traction or anything like that. But anyway, I will see you in the car. Okay, so this was, we had to resort to plan B because can actually pull in yeah, let's just put the front. you can actually pull into the area where the caves are so we had to park down the street now we have to walk to the area and then walk about a half a mile to the cave Fun. so yeah hey, now that it's getting cold do you want to go back to that one place that we uh didn't want to go to due to the uh, the Bugs, yeah, the spot. Sure. All right, we're making our way up the mountain right now, trying to locate the caves. All right, we're still we're still trying to locate the mine, but we have a general idea where it's at. But take a look at this. Someone left. Possibly like an old Dodge or something right here. Ugh. Fuck, this is so rocky. Whoa. Worst case scenario, I probably caved in at one point, which I'm hoping well, it didn't. That wouldn't be the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is it would cave in with us in. Yeah. <laughs> There's a fucking skull there. Who died out here? I'm not getting anything on the So, um, we had a little bit of a, no, well, I was scared, but Jared wasn't. <laughs> um, so we had to take a detour because apparently that the mine just isn't there but there's like a whole probably area of mines and jared got it up on the maps but we're taking this trail we're literally out in the middle of fucking nowhere when we come across a fucking skull so i immediately whipped out my spirit box and got no responses but we found out that the skull is actually made out of styrofoam false alarm closer to the mine now we're coming closer Take a look at this. I think this might be quartz. But we're up here. Whoa. 
We came all the way over there on fucking foot. Jesus Christ. Jesus. But yeah. All right, guys. So we had a really disappointing trip. I think this is where the mine was. It's been completely sealed off. But we got a nice view of Vegas right here. But what we can do real quick is check around the corner. Like check around here. See if there's anything. If not, we gotta make a half mile and a half trip back down the mountain. Come on, Jared. Checking this. I said I'm checking around the corner here. All right, Jared, just hold on. But I don't know if I got film of this, but we got found a really cool spot. I'll probably, on the way down, I'll probably show you guys. But yeah, what? You you found it, guys? We found the, the possible location. No, uh, it's bad news. What? Nevada and Clark County leaders recently approved a plan to fill approximately 40 abandoned mines in the area. Fuck! As it turns out, guess what? What? Uh, they had like fencing and. Uh, safety barriers put up around the mines and they replaced them like 70 times but hobos kept cutting the wires and uh, in one of the mines they actually found a like two-story apartment complex for homeless people damn so yeah Clark County fucking filled in all the mines here all right then well waste of trip, waste of trip. well get on out of here then okay so bad news we had Jared looked up and found out that the county had shut down all the mines in the area so Port Apache Caves no longer here if you're trying to come go there don't you're just gonna you're just not gonna be too happy there is some cool stuff out here though uh, near Fort Apache and Warm Springs we found Hey, like a um, kind of like an art exhibit. It was like a resting area, possibly for the miners, and there's a bunch of graffiti and stuff. I have a small clip of that. I posted a snapshot. I'll probably insert that in here. And um, the mine that we had went to up to the top was, of course, is all sealed off. But Jared scared me. Coming down the mountain, there was like a six six foot in length, two foot in, in width, and like possibly infinite depth we thought it was a uh, grave someone dug up which it wasn't but we didn't know that jared went up there and just like oh, oh my god don't come over here steven there's a skeleton there wasn't but he was trying to scare me yeah he got me good because his reaction was so genuine like it was crazy but anyone and any, uh, 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 anyway we are heading back to the car now, and this concludes this episode of A Day on a Trail. Everybody, stay happy and continue exploring. Please like, subscribe, click that bell, and we'll see you soon.